Okay, uh, we'll, uh, we'll call this informational meeting of the Hyde Park Select Board to order at uh, after six on uh, February 22nd. Uh, let's see if we can go around who's, see who we have here. I know we have the Select Board is here. We got uh, Roly and Roger and Brian and Dave and myself. Ron, of course, Ron's here. Who else do we have, Ron? Danielle Smith from Salvation Farms and Jim Noyes from Landfair Memorial Library. Okay. And part of the hearing, uh, there is a prepared agenda that the um, statutory requirements are just to walk through them and i think that's um we have an article on salvation farms yep and jim is here generally because he traditionally goes to the floor vote and talks that's about right. the library so he's, he's doing he's doing what he usually does just a different way that's that's right well and again we do it all again next monday too right uh, two weeks i'm oh, yeah. sorry no you're right you're right <laughs> No, I'm not doing it in two weeks. <laughs> oh, okay, man. so um, shall I just go through? And obviously, the um, the uh, the first article is uh, is a list of all the uh, folks that are are uh, up for election. Um, do we have? And so far, we don't have. I've seen some folks putting some stuff on Front Porch Forum, um, but if there's anybody tuned in or online that would like to say something okay our next article is uh, is um, two thousand dollars for the North Central Vermont Recovery Center I don't think we have anybody here for them no I could if Um, now, I don't know now, Ron, when doing that, and and again, we don't have because folks aren't folks aren't listening. Of course, this is recorded. People could could uh, could check in later. It's um, again, and I I mean, I just know personally that the the recovery center is providing really important services to folks that have substance use issues all the time, but oh. certainly through the pandemic. Before you do this, I'm just going to make sure I test, press the record button again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this I'll conference do it will now be recorded. Okay. So, now that you're going to okay. present something, I want to make yeah, sure you Well, got we it. just, the, um, the article two is should the voters appropriate $2,000 to the North Central Vermont Recovery Center, which is our local recovery center that provides truly invaluable services to folks that have, um, that are struggling with substance use disorders and of course everybody is we've seen during covid that those numbers are, are growing more and more um they get some support from the state but they uh, they uh they are looking to expand their base some and to get some communities from town i have no idea what the number of folks that they support or provide services to that are in that are in hyde park actually i know the the director and his family live in hyde park um, so we'll just see and, and we can check and see if we can get somebody next week so it'll sort of be officially on the, on the, from somebody from the organization there. Um, article three is show the voters appropriate $750 to Salvation Farms. And I know we've got Danielle, so we'll get her on the record. Hello, I'm also attending as a Hyde Park voter. I am officially registered. As of this fall, so excited to All see. All right, good for you. Um, I'm coming to you live from the Salvation Farms Morrisville office. For those of you that don't know, Salvation Farms runs a gleaning program throughout the Moyle Valley, serving towns from Cambridge to Greensboro. Um, and gleaning is the act of reaping after the harvest. So we help farmers find find outlets for surplus food that they don't have a market for, and serve that to our community members through community meal programs. Um, we are requesting $750 from the town, knowing that, um, or assuming that voters within Hyde Park are 
accessing services in border towns like Johnson and Morrisville um, uh, through services like the Lamoille Community Food Share, through the Food Shelves, through WIC, um, through Lamoille Mental Health Services and others. So I have some data from past season COVID. Obviously, we saw an increase in the amount of food insecurity across the state of Vermont. I think right now one in three Vermonters are currently experiencing some sort of food insecurity. Um, and Salvation Farms Lamoille Valley Glean Program worked with 20 farms to engage 142 volunteers who contributed a combined 554 hours. Uh, we collected more than 150,000 servings of locally grown surplus and distributed that to 39 community-based food programs. Um, we're a federally recognized uh, 501c3 nonprofit um, and we provide these gleaning services of no cost to the community members. So we humbly submit this request and thank you for your time. Danielle, do you, do, um, do you guys do any work with the schools? So given COVID, we have um, done some partnerships with schools. It gets a little tricky for um, tax deduction for farmers to claim that as a tax credit. So that's not our primary outlet, but if um, schools have after school programs, we can provide gleaning surplus to them. Otherwise, we prefer that the schools have that relationship with the farmer directly. Jim. Anybody have any? Because actually, I know we've, you came to the select board and talked, so this is a. Anybody have any questions for Danielle? Okay. Nope. Nope. Um, article four, shall the voters appropriate $500 to the Vermont Family Network? Ron, do we have anything from them? Uh, nothing recent. I have, I can pull some of the, the documents that they sent in. Um, the statewide organizational I think this is the northern Vermont chapter uh, let's say here hold on a second anybody else from it this is maybe no. it's already too late in the day for me <laughs> Brian are you familiar with them no I, I was wondering the same thing I, I don't I've never had any contact with them that I'm aware of yeah, right. Sometimes people, you get their official name and you go, oh, that's who they are, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. What'd you find, Ron? Yeah, I can read there. There's a letter to the select board, which will take a minute to read if you want to do that. Vermont Family Network letter from October. Uh, mission is to empower and support all Vermont families of children with special needs. Formed in 2008 by two organizations, the Vermont Parent Center and Parent to Parent of Vermont merged. The okay. Vermont Family Network has collectively shared the families okay. of served the families of Vermont for more than 30 years and created a virtual one-stop shop for families of children with special needs and the providers who serve them. We are writing you today to ask for your support, continuing to serve families in Hyde Park and throughout the state. Traditionally, primarily funded through state and federal grants, we find that waning funds threaten to slow our work and minimize the number of families we can support. We are reaching out to communities like Hyde Park, where we have served many families to seek your help. Your appreciation will help, appropriation will help ensure the work we are able to do all around the state continues to happen with the same excellence and care that it has for the past 30 years. We are proud to serve over 1,400 families yearly with expert information, referral and assistance services provided by family support consultants located in Williston, Newport, and Rutland. An annual conference and much more thorough through and much more through our family support program. Vermont Family Network is also home to puppets and education, an educational puppetry team who teach children and parents all around the state about important topics like bullying prevention, child prevention, disability awareness, through engaging performances that emphasize compassion, respect, effective leadership, and communication. 
Each year, almost 10,000 school children benefit from one of these educational programs. Thank you so much for your consideration. The funding received will go a long way to ensuring our ability to continue to provide the much needed services to families across the state. Gotcha. I know. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, yeah, thanks. I know. I got it. I know who they are now. Okay. Is there any, was there, there probably wasn't any breakdown of how many they actually served in high school? No, there wasn't. I think, I think they work with the schools, you know, get into the schools and then they have um, sort of case calls, you know, directly to them. So yeah. I, we, we could ask for that next year as part of the, you know, help them get a better letter together. Because usually most agencies do provide one sentence in the letter that says last year we served 25 families somehow. You know, it doesn't have to be that specific, but some something's helpful for the board, I think, to have it in there. Danielle's listening. That, that, that's right. I, well, I was. Our, our, um, I'm wondering if they're the folks that do <laughs> the puppet stuff at the beginning of the school year in the elementary school. There's been. I think so. There, there's been there's been a group that's come in and that's going. Oh, I think I think that's who this is that do the does does the puppet stuff. Okay. Um. Article five. Now, do I need to read these articles? This is just where we approve the but where you tell people here's the whole budget. Uh, yeah, there you can just I think summary is all that you need. People have yep. access to this stuff if they want to see it. Okay, it's um the proposed budget for uh, let's see July first twenty one to June thirtieth twenty two is uh two million seven hundred thirty six thousand dollars. Um, and approximately two million three hundred and eight thousand of that will be raised by property taxes. That's Article Five, so that's actually the budget, and that budget w would be the number if we voted yes on the three articles up above them. Um, article Six, and we we still don't have anybody. Well, now we ought to give Jim. You want to jump in and say anything? Uh, nothing to say, really. Thank you. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> um, article six is just when we uh, is when we pay our our taxes, which is uh, August thirty first, November fifteenth, February fifteenth, and May sixteenth. I see Mary Waltz is here. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, <I am> indeed. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Mary, we want you to know you're it. <laughs> I see that. I'm sitting here wondering where is everybody? What are yeah. they doing with their evening? <laughs> what are they do? Well, we figure they're all going to show up next Monday. Um, I want to jump back to the budget real quick. I, I okay, yeah. just want to make sure people know that the 2736 is the amount going to the property tax, I mean, sorry, the town budget, the property tax is the 2308 that Susan mentioned, but the three articles above will add to that number. So the... the well, they add to it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they'll add it on top of the 2308200, two and then you add in those three 3,250 to get a new total, set the tax rate in July. So it'll be added to. It's not, not, okay. in the budget, not in that budget number right now. Okay. Sorry about that. It's okay. I just want to make sure it was clear for people taking Why notes at home. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we haven't, you know, like folks, that's it. If there was, if there was ever a year that if we were going to miss our traditional town meeting, this was certainly, I, I expect a number of towns is probably pretty quiet. Yeah, that's uh, that is one comment I saw. I don't know if it's the News and Citizen or some other newspaper I was reading, where most Vermont towns have uh, deferred major issues. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, funding issues. Yeah. Hey, Susan, did it? Did it make it to the radio? 
I know you're talking about no. rolling the truck. No, 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 we no, we haven't made it to the radio yet. Okay. I'm kind of concerned with not uh, having too many participating, especially with what I've seen over the years with the volume of people that come into the uh, town meetings and stuff like that. It's disheartening in a sense. Well, it is, but it's also, I mean, it's interesting, again, that so many more people have already asked for their for their ballots. You know, so if you go from 30 to, uh, I, don't, I don't know what she got in today, but she was already at about 115. So, so people are definitely, and, and again, I think part of it, everybody knows it's pretty quiet. Um, we don't, we don't usually, we don't usually have a lot of, I, I I think the select board in Hyde Park has a history of really trying to stick around the two or three percent, and um, and I think voters are used to that. And they, you know, they see in their own lives the cost of everything goes up, the cost of insurance goes up, the cost of gas goes up, the cost of everything goes up. Um, so I I don't, boy, maybe maybe Roly, you or Dave or Roger, I don't ever remember any really big fights about the town budget which is not the school budget. <laughs> um, so I, I um, again, we'll, we'll see. A lot of people are, I don't know. I, but I'm, I'm thinking previously having done informational meetings, you don't tend to get a lot of, a lot of turnout. Um, <clears throat> Is that Roger? No. So, okay, so if we don't have more people tuning in, we can we can run. Danielle, you're welcome to stay if you want. Um, so, so are you married, but we can.